part two of why title insurance is just too damn high. It's too damn high. For starters, it costs 25 bucks for a computerized quick search on most properties. They charge 1400 bucks or so. Too damn high. And that leaves a lot of meat on the bones for profits. My God. So anyways, as we told you in part one, these title companies were buying the business. I mean, like literally season tickets to all your sports, wine trips, booze cruises, and they gave this to all their favorite referral partners. And that is quintessentially buying the business. Well, after the crash, fire, burned to death of the housing market in 2008, regulators came in and said, no more. And then title companies came out and told everybody, man, this sucks. We hate the fact that we can't spend half of our profits on bullshit for our referral partners. But do you know what they were really doing? They were laughing their asses off because of what the regulators didn't say. And what the regulators didn't say is you have to lower your fees to reflect the massive new savings you got. And so they didn't. But like any other business that's totally flush with money, title companies started looking at, well, let's just call this one a workaround. Because hey, you have to put your billions somewhere. Now this is where it gets really good. According to therealdeal.com, Fidelity has quietly been purchasing big stakes in real estate companies. How big? Quote, in late 2014, Fidelity bought a controlling 66% stake in the San Francisco-based Pacific Union, the ninth largest brokerage in the country. That, my friends, is a controlling interest. Through its stake in Pacific, it had acquired a piece of LA companies such as John Rowe Group and the Mark Company, bringing the total holdings to 1,100 agents working in 38 offices across California. In 2015, their combined production reached $10.5 billion. That's a lot of fucking billions. But there's more. Fidelity reported $183 million in revenues from Pacific Union in 2014, according to public disclosures, a number that will be significantly boosted by the Aero acquisition. And they go on. Separately, Fidelity also owns a stake in LA luxury brokerage Gibson International and is the sole owner of J. Rockcliffe Realtors in San Francisco's East Bay. So yeah. Fidelity is buying real estate companies, and they do it because they're flush with cash. But even more important, it kind of seems like even if the real estate companies go through hard times, they've got the funds to keep these ships afloat. But now why would they buy these companies? Well, I'll speculate. I'll speculate. Who's the number one referrers to title companies? Yeah, it's real estate agents. You. So if your parent company is a title and escrow company, where might you as a real estate agent send your business? Can you guess? Anyone? Anyone? Can you guess? That's right. To your parent company. I'm just saying, it sure does look like a great way to keep all that business in-house. Sell the house, closing papers signed by the house, title insurance provided by the house, the fidelity house. Man, this is this is just smart. Smart to keep it quiet. Because there's no steering going on here. <laughs> and as a competitor real estate agent, let me ask you, do you want to give your business to a title company that owns your competitor real estate office? I don't I don't know about that one. So yeah, buying real estate companies is a great way for Fidelity to keep the cash flowing, all the while not offering those crazy fun inducements of past year. Hell, they'll make more money. And on the homepage of Fidelity's parent company, it shows that they're making more money. If you invest in Fidelity, you're going to outpace the stock market. That's how great these guys are doing. But shh, we don't want this to get out because real estate agents might decide to send their business somewhere else.